so maybe I was too fast, let's recap. We added the new dashboards, dashboard services abstraction. Let me put the customers here. If you remember in the customer services, we are using a class here with a constructor that does nothing. And then we have a method and we are returning a new instance of it. And here we are using another approach when you define a function as we are defining here in our view models. Okay, a function. And we are specifying a method right there. We don't want to receive a customer and it will call the fetch data for us with a specific endpoint and then we return that. If you want to transform this to a singleton, we just need to return the new. That is the syntax when you are using the define. You can also, if you remember the core, uh, let me open it, the core GS, we are getting this logic here with a class. If you return the new, the new car utils, it will also give you a singleton. Going back to the dashboard services. Well, we are using this function notation, returning that. And when we load the, um, the data, you can also return the new here just to be a singleton and it will not work because if you want to return the new, of course, we need to put it in a prototype so you can access that is the same logic here that we are doing. So if you have object and inside the prototype will have the fetch user countries. So as it will uh, not be inside the object own properties, the um, JavaScript compiler or interpreter will look for the fetch user countries method inside the prototype in the prototype chain and will find it. So you can use multiple ways. Let's use that because it will have this nice green color to differentiate the name. Again, we are getting this abstraction. So you only need to call this method and it will call the user countries um, endpoint with the finding config.json file. And we added that user countries in our database.json. That means we are now having these users countries endpoint that we can get data from and inside the dashboard we are using a different way of getting data using the ray data provider instead of having the ray data provider as an observable we are giving to the ray data provider the users by data provider the observable we want and we are defining that in unit observables of course that is called before the init variables where we are giving the observable to the users by data provider. And it is a observable array uh, initialized by default with an empty array. We give it to the array data provider, it will hold that. And every time we change the observable, it will change the data. So here, if we receive some data from the service, we will update our pi data this users country data that is an observable and it will display the data we have on the database so we can change the data here to 50 for portugal and of course we need to reload the page and we have 50 for portugal is too much let's put it like 10 and uh, 20 and let me just refresh of course you can change the colors you can see that styles we have the color and the border color so you can change it to one one small auto and b5 border width so this color attribute is changing the O chart series color property. So we have the template for item template and then for the series, we need to copy that and put in our 
not customers but dashboard one we have the item template that customizes what we see here in each slice but the colors are in another slot that is also by using a template but the series template one and we are using the name as series here here we have a javascript expression we can also let's use that way so you can put here the color you want let's put a string red green and yellow and here on dashboard what we can change we just want to change the color and we want to use a function here that is pi short color that receives the series object we have here so we need to define that in dashboard it can be here in its all variables that will be this dot pi short equals to function named one and we will receive the series object and we can for now display it so we can see what we have inside and we can see that we receive an object the id index and items and inside items is all the data we want there is our data id2 series and group and of course the color so we can for instance return here so we want to return the color there is the series object and if you recall you need to go to the items get the first array position and go to data and then color and hopefully it will change to the colors we want and yes oh it's awful i know uh but if you recall let's open that inside the items we have an object items that has an array so the position zero the first position as an object that has data as property and inside the property we can access to all the values and change the color in this way of course you can have other ways of returning the color and changing it it's up to you it's a silly example of what you can do uh, let me get some egg color and try to put some custom colors but without hurting my eyes so let's use the, this one and this one is also good for now let's use this one as you can see you can have the default strings or you can put also the hexadecimal code okay at least that is not burning my eyes it's just a custom color of course you can also not change the color and use the default ones let me put a comment here and article jet will have some default colors um of course that if you have two shards it will let me duplicate the code it will display the same colors on both be aware of that just remove this console log you can also put here some returns the color for the pi chart uh, item this is an object it turns a string that is the color and you can use it just to be a little bit different and have a little bit of color and when you press here we want to see something we want to do something and if you recall we have this selection let's look for that we have here and let's use the subscribe method from knockout gs yes, subscribe and you can remember what we did in the customers gs file the subscribe will receive a function 
let me bind this keyword to make sure we are using the correct scope and here i want to cancel dot log d value okay i press here i have an array of zero i press there it is two and one so as you can see it is an array so you can change it to an observable array with an empty value to be more meaningful with what we are doing so and this is zero and one why are we getting that fails because we are using the key attributes as being the id and if you go to your database the id is zero one and so forth if you change here to series it is expected that when you select Portugal, you see Portugal. Okay, that's how you can change. Let's keep the ID. 